Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I'm Lady Legend. Today we're going to be counting down the top 10 best weapons for new players to give you the best start possible in this amazing game. We're going to be looking at exactly which weapons will give you the best start, where you will find them, which DLC you will find them in, their stats, basically everything you need to know to give you the best loadout possible as you get started in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, if you do enjoy the video, guys, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing, smash that like button. It is so amazing for the videos and I appreciate it so much. So thank you for that, guys. And we're gonna head right into it. Coming in at number 10 on our list of top 10 best weapons for new players is the 22 LR handgun. Now this weapon will be found in weapon pack three. And I'm wondering if that's an albino. I think that's an albino. All right. Now the 22 handgun is only good for class 1, so it is the perfect weapon for ducks, bunnies, geese, and raccoons right now. So with the 22 handgun, it does not come with the scope. You do have to use a handgun to level up and unlock the handgun scope, and you can do it with the 22 handgun. It zeroes in at 25, 50, and 75 meters, so you'll want to get good and close. Here we go. And we got her on the second shot. Oh, did I get it? I think I got two. Now, one of the reasons that the 22 handgun is such a good weapon for new players is it allows you to unlock the handgun scope. I did get two. And the Rhino 454, which is an amazing, amazing handgun. It is the best handgun in the game, in my opinion. But it is not essential for new players. All right, let's pick this up. And we do have an albino, isn't that sweet? But that's a pretty sweet find. So 63 meters with the 22 LR. Now another really nice thing about the 22 handgun is that it does have 10 shots. So guys, once you do purchase Weapon Pack 3, the Anderson 22 will be in the store for you for zero dollars. It comes in three different variations. We do have the Defender, the Marksman, and the Woodsman. So for the 22 LR, it has an accuracy of 100, a recoil of 10, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 86. It takes the 22 LR jacketed hollow point bullets, and that is the only ammo available for the 22. So it has a penetration of 5 and an expansion of 10, and good only for classes 1. So that is a great little handgun to get started off when you are new in Call of the Wild. Coming in at number 9 on our list of top 10 best weapons for new players is the Ranger 243. Now the 243 is a non-DLC weapon. It does come with the base game. The reason I do have it on the top 10 list is it is a very necessary weapon. And I actually carry the 243 with me to most maps. Now for example, we have Grey Fox here. They are a class 2 species, same as Coyotes, Grey Fox, Red Fox. And there aren't a lot of weapons to shoot class twos with and the 243 has you covered. The 243 is good for classes two to six. So it is not a strong rifle, but it is a very necessary one. Now we're gonna take a shot on this gray fox. See how we do. <laughs> I didn't do too hot, did I? Probably the reason that I missed is my zeroing isn't perfect. That fox was 180 meters away, I was 150, and I probably should have aimed a little bit higher. Now, as a new player, guys, you are gonna be automatically zeroed into 150 meters when you don't have the zeroing perk yet. This is the zeroing perk. It is a rifle perk right here, and I do highly, highly recommend getting both levels of it. And what it does is, when you have zeroing, you can actually adjust your weapon to focus perfectly at 75, 150 and 300 meters. So if I am aiming at anything that is 300 meters away and I'm zero to 300, I'm gonna get a perfect shot when I aim. It's gonna hit right, right on the crosshairs. So I'm guessing that is probably why I didn't just get my shot there. But the fox did die, let's go pick it up. So I didn't get any organs, a uh, terrible shot. But even without an organ shot, it still does take down this gray fox. So, yep, I needed to just be a tiny bit higher because of the drop. Because I was 185 meters, I needed to be higher there, so that's all right. But the 243 is definitely one weapon you want to have in your loadout most of the time. I carry it to just about every map. Coming in at number 8 on our list of top 10 best weapons for new players is the Virant 22 LR Rifle. 
Now, I know I did put the 22 handgun on the list here, and the reason I did that was to be able to unlock your handgun, handgun scope. However, the 22 LR is one weapon that I carry to just about every map. Now, we do have mallards in front of us, so the 22 LR is only good for class one. So it is going to be your ducks and bunnies and geese, and right now for raccoons, and that's it. Now, the 22 zeroes in at 50, 100, and 150 meters. So you have a lot more range than the 22 handgun. So you can take much, much further shots. Now the best way to take ducks down with the 22 LR guys, especially if you are a new player, is to get right to 150 meters from your duck if possible. The way to get a really precise waypoint is to put your green mark or wherever you're marking right in the center of the map, zoom in as close as you can, and then when you put your waypoint down, it should be pretty perfect. Now marking ducks precisely is very important because being even 10-15 meters off will ruin your shot for you. So we're 0 to 150 meters. Aim right at your duck. Ooh, a level one. Thanks so much for the amazingly huge ducks. All right, here we go. And hold your breath. And down he goes. Now the trick here, you see they say alarmed. When they say alarmed, do not take any more shots. Just be patient and wait for them to calm down. They will. And as soon as they go calm again, then take another one out and wait again. And you should be able to take quite a few out. If you do it right away, they will start to fly. You can try and shoot them out of the air. And then you want to lead the shot. And as they swim around, you will want to adjust your waypoint. As you can see, they have definitely moved. All right, got another one. And there they go. So what you want to do now is you want to lead the shot, shoot in front of them, and there you see we got him because he flew into the bullet flying through the air. So that was a 144 meter shot with the 22 long rifle. So it comes in two different variations. We have Express and we have Classica, and it has an accuracy of 100, recoil of 10, reload of 49, and a hip shot of 86. And it does use the same ammo as the 22 handgun, and we've already gone over those specs earlier. So again, good for class one and it only has one type of ammo, so that makes life simple. And it is very inexpensive. $200 for 10 shots. Coming in at number seven on our list of top 10 best weapons for new players is the Cacciatore 12 gauge shotgun. Now this is a non-DLC shotgun. You do have to unlock it through using the shotgun that comes with the base game. But what sets the Cacciatore apart from other shotguns is simply the fact that it has six shots. You don't have to stop and reload, which is pretty awesome. Now you can use it with or without the scope. The scope is also non-DLC, but again, you do have to unlock it by using the base game shotgun. So that is the 12 gauge with birdshot. You can use the shotgun on every species in the game, depending on which ammo you load into it. It has an accuracy of 33, a recoil of 82, a reload speed of 29, and a hip shot of 88, and it is 48,000 in-game dollars. Now, you do have to unlock it. I don't actually know how much shotgun XP you need to unlock it because I did unlock it quite a while ago. So here we have the 12 gauge bird shot. The furthest you can zero with the Cacciatore is 75 meters. It zeroes in at 25, 50, and 75. So birdshot is only good for class one. Buckshot is for classes two to five, and slugs are for classes four to eight. So you can definitely use it on every species in the game. Coming in at number six on our list of top 10 best weapons for new players is the Crosspoint CB165 Crossbow. Now, the reason that I do have the crossbow on the list is because it is the easiest of all the bows for new players. It does have an adjustable scope, which is amazing. You can take shots from prone without the Leica Pro bow perk. Now, you will find the crossbow in Weapon Pack 1. All right, I'm going to take a shot because they are spooking. I got her. I used the second dot because she was a little further away and I did get her. Let's go have a look at that. So that was a little on the low side, but that was a 70 meter shot, 68 meters with the crossbow. But the crossbow is an amazing bow, absolutely phenomenal, a lot of fun to use. It comes in Arctic, Classic, Dark Star, and Warden. Once you do purchase Weapon Pack 1, it is totally free to purchase from the store. 
So the crossbow has an accuracy of 45, a recoil of 35, a reload speed of 20, and a hip shot of 10. Peak draw weight is 165 pounds. So crossbows use bolts. You can get the 300 grain bolts, which are good for class one and two, right here. 420 grain bolts, which are good for classes two to seven. And we do have 600 grain bolts, which are good for classes seven to nine. So you can use the crossbow on every species in the entire game, as long as you use the right bolts. But I do think the crossbow is an amazing bow to get started with in Call of the Wild. Coming in at number 5 on our list of top 10 best weapons for new players is the Vasquez Cyclone 45, otherwise known as the Air Rifle. Now the Air Rifle is only good for classes 2 to 4, but it is completely amazing for making cash as a new player. So what you want to do is get to about 100 meters, I think that is the sweet spot, and then you can fire away. So we're going to sneak up on these pronghorn. So the Air Rifle zeroes in at 2550 and 100 meters max. It does carry seven shots, which is very nice. So basically, when you do take your shots from 100 meters, they aren't gonna spook. And as long as you don't take them too quickly, you should be able to take quite a few down. Now, if you are concerned about your zone, you should do this from a tripod or some sort of hunting structure. But I am not too worried about my zone here. All right, let's take a shot and So that was a good shot. So they know something's going on, but they're not spooked. So the smart thing to do is just wait a second, let them get calm again, and then take another shot. And now they're spooking, but we took quite a few there. They are flying everywhere. You can make so much money by taking out entire herds of pronghorn with the air rifle. And we actually got double lung there, 99.48 meters, and we are using the round nose air rifle pellets. And double lung again. For being such a quiet rifle, it gets pretty awesome penetration. Once you do own Weapon Pack 3, it is free. There is only one variation. It has an accuracy of 60, a recoil of 10, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 80. So here we have the 45 hollow point air rifle pellets. So these ones have a penetration of 15 and an expansion of 70. So you're all expansion here, whereas the 45 round nose air rifle pellets have 27 for penetration and only six for expansion. So you're getting way more penetration. So I do recommend the round nose air rifle pellets and they are $300 for 10 shots. So they're very inexpensive. You're just getting better penetration that way. But that is an amazing way to stack cash as a new player is with the air rifle. Coming in at number four on our list of top 10 best weapons for new players is a three-way tie between the M1 the 303 and the 30 odd six. All of them are really amazing class four to eight rifles that are gonna make your gameplay way, way easier. Now the first one I'm gonna show you is the M1. Now I love the M1. It is what I call my whitetail rifle. Now I do think that the M1 is a little bit better in that you get a faster follow-up shot. All right, we got three. So with five shots, the M1 is really, really awesome. The one benefit that it does have over the 30 odd six is that it carries one extra bullet and weighs one kilogram less than the 30 odd six, but is almost the same gun as the 30 odd six and they do have the same ammo. So the M1 comes in the smoke and barrels pack and it's one gun that I could not get along without. So it has really beautiful penetration. With the M1, you can zero in at 75, 150, and 300 meters. So it is good for those long range shots. It's just so much better than using the base rifles that come with Call of the Wild. So here we have the M1 Iwaniak collection. We also have the Reserve and the Veteran. Now, once you own the smoke and barrels, it is free to purchase the M1. You just have to buy ammo. It has an accuracy of 35, a recoil of 82, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 50. So here is the ammo here, 30 odd six polymers, effective range of 150, 
Penetration of 40, expansion of only 11, and good for classes 4 to 8. 850 for 10 shots, so it's not the cheapest, but worth every penny. And then with the soft points, they are a quite a lot less expensive, but you're getting 19 for penetration and 50 for expansion. I prefer the polymers myself, but the M1 is such an amazing rifle. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the Eckers 30 odd 6. Now the 30 odd 6 is also good for classes 4 to 8. This is it here. It also zeroes in at 75, 150, and 300 meters. It carries four shots. I do like the sound it makes. And absolutely splattered. So you don't actually need the M1 and the 30 odd 6 and the 303, you just need one of them. But if you're one of these people who likes to have them all, they are all a lot of fun to use. So we didn't actually get a vital there, but the 30 odd 6 is absolutely phenomenal for classes 4 to 8. So the 30 odd 6 comes in weapon pack 3 along with the air rifle and the 22 handgun. So weapon pack 3 really is a great pack for new players. It comes in the elegance, the eminence, and prestige. It has an accuracy of 35, a recoil of 80, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 50. It is free once you do purchase Weapon Pack 3. And then it does use the same ammo as the M1. So we won't go through those stats again. Okay guys, so now we're gonna have a look at the FL Sporter 303. Now I absolutely love this rifle. It is possibly my favorite rifle along with the 300. I absolutely love it. I do use the M1 exclusively when I am farming Whitetail, but I have been using the 303 with Red Deer. So it is good for classes 4 to 8. The 303 comes with the Te Aurora DLC. You can get it for free through the missions or you can pay 45,000, I think it's 45,000 in-game cash. So the 303 does have five shots. I just love the way it sounds, love the way it handles. It has insane penetration. I just really enjoy this rifle. I got him. Once again, you don't absolutely need the M1 and the 30 odd 6 and the 303. You just need one of them. They are all amazing 4 to 8 class rifles. So that was a beautiful right lung shot with the 303 from 91 meters. So basically, it really just comes down to preference. We have the burnished, the laminated, and the polymer. So I was off a little bit. It is 40,000 in game cash to purchase, or you can get it through the missions, as I mentioned. It has an accuracy of 55, recoil of 64, reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 67. So with the polymer tips, they have a penetration of 40 and only 12 for expansion, 880 for 10 shots. So the ammo is a little cheaper than the 30 odd 6 ammo. And then we have soft points, which are usually less expensive. They are in this case, but you're getting 20 for penetration and a huge 53 for expansion. I do prefer the polymer tips. Coming in at number three on our list of top 10 best rifles for new players is the Grelic Drilling Rifle. Now the Grelic Drilling Rifle is two weapons in one. So this is it here. I am on PC, so when I hold down the reload button, it swaps over. So that is the shotgun. It is a 16 gauge shotgun, or it also is a rifle, and it is good for classes four to nine. Now when you're using the shotgun, the class is dependent on which kind of ammo that you use. It zeroes in at 50, 100, and 150 meters. So it doesn't zero into 300 like other rifles like the 30 odd 6. But the reason it is so amazing for new players is because it goes from 4 to 9. So it is super versatile and it is an amazing rifle to use to hunt class 9 animals before you can afford buying 300 or the 7 mil anything that gives you integrity on a class 9 species. And I believe on a controller, whatever button it is you use to reload, you just hold that button down and it will swap you from shotgun to rifle and vice versa. Now you can use the Grelic Drilling Rifle for much further than 150 meters. Just practice with it at the shooting range. You just need to aim above the animal and just practice with it. And I have taken many an animal at 300 meters with the Grelic. And it is really, really fun to do. 
So that was a right long shot, 167 meters with the Grelic drilling rifle. Okay, we have a rabbit here. Okay, we smoked it. Yes. So you get two shots with the shotgun from the Grelic drilling rifle. It is a double barreled shotgun. It zeroes in at 25, 50, and 75 meters, which is pretty standard for most shotguns. Oh, I have slugs in there. Oops. That is definitely not the right ammo. Just having a double barreled shotgun with a rifle all in one gun is very, very handy and amazing for new players. And the more you use your shotgun as you level up, it will earn you shotgun XP and help you to unlock the catchatory and the shotgun scope. But you don't need the shotgun scope for the Grelic drilling rifle. So to find the Grelic drilling rifle in the store, it is actually under shotguns. So once you do purchase weapon pack two, it is free to purchase from the store. It comes in carbon fiber, classic, and select. So it has an accuracy of 33, a recoil of 82, a reload speed of 10, and a hip shot of 95. So this is the ammo for the rifle side of the Grelic drilling rifle, 9.3 by 74R. These are the polymer tips. So $880 for 10 shots, penetration of 40, expansion of only 12, and good for classes five to nine, which is what makes the Grelic drilling rifle so amazing. Then there are soft points. They are less expensive, $610, but you're getting a penetration of only 20, a huge expansion of 53. I much prefer the polymer tips myself. Now it is a 16 gauge shotgun, so you can use birdshot, which is good for class one, buckshot, which is good for classes two to four, or slugs, which are good for classes four to seven. So you can hunt absolutely anything with the shotgun side of the Grelic drilling rifle. It is a really fun rifle to use, lots of fun. So you will find that once again in weapon pack two. Coming in at number two on our list of top 10 best weapons for new players is the seven millimeter. Now I would say that the seven millimeter is the most versatile weapon in the game because it goes from classes four right up to nine and it is a non DLC weapon. So basically when you're leveling up, you need to decide whether or not you're gonna go the DLC route. If you're not, the seven millimeter is what you want. Now you do have to unlock it by leveling up your rifle score, but it is a very, very powerful weapon. And you can use it for class nine species and there aren't a lot of options for class nine as a new player. It does zero right up to 300 meters, but it does not have a second shot. You do have to reload to take that follow-up shot. And it just decimated that moose. So you can use it on anything from whitetail right up to Cape Buffalo and lions. It is very powerful, lots of penetration, not quite as powerful as the 300, but it will do an amazing job for you. So there you go, right lung and heart, pretty insane penetration with the seven mil, and that was from 156 meters. But yeah, the seven millimeter is an absolute beast. So right now I have the Empress Magnum and the Regent Magnum. Now for the stats, it has an accuracy of 33, a recoil of 82, a reload speed of 81, and a hip shot of 48. So these are the polymers, effective range of 150 meters, which means you can zero up to 300, penetration of 40, expansion of only 12, and good for classes four to nine. Now, if you do go over here to the soft points, you're only getting 20 for penetration, a whopping 53 for expansion, I do myself prefer the polymer tips. I like the penetration in it. Coming in at number one on our list of top 10 best weapons to use as a new player is the 300 Canning Magnum. Now the 300 is my favorite rifle along with the 303. It is good for class seven to nine. Let's see if we can't take a buffalo or two. So the 300 has four shots. It zeroes all the way up to 300 meters. So it is awesome for those long range shots. And you do get a follow up shot as opposed to the 338. It is super powerful and there is nothing that beats it. Absolutely nothing. If you are gonna go the DLC route as a new player, I do highly recommend investing in the 300. It is very expensive. It comes with the Yukon Valley DLC and it is 75,000 in-game dollars. 
You don't have to, ooh, we picked it up. You don't have to unlock it. And that is a silver brown Cape Buffalo. And that was a beautiful right long shot. So the 300 is amazing for Cape Buffalo, for lions, for anything seven to nine. And I don't use it on every map, but anything with high level species, I always have the 300 with me. It comes in the Frontier and the Marches. So as I mentioned, 75,000, which is a pretty hefty price tag, but it is worth every single penny. So I guess the big decision to make is if you are gonna go the DLC route, do you save up for the 300 or the seven millimeter? Both are amazing, but the 300 has a follow-up shot and is stronger by far than the 7 mil. The 7 mil will get you by, but the 300 is better. I do highly recommend the 300. Now it has an accuracy of 80, a recoil of 90, reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 35. And here is the ammo, 950 for 10 shots, effective range of 150, penetration of 42, expansion of 14, and good for classes seven to nine. Now with the soft points, you're getting 21 for penetration, a whopping 60 for expansion, so I do prefer the polymer tips for the 300. So there you have it guys, 10, well actually 13, but 10 options for you for different weapons for starting out in Call of the Wild. I really hope that that does help you guys with your weapon selection as you are starting out in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And if you did enjoy the video or learn anything at all, guys, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. Hit that like button. It is so amazing for the videos, and I do appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much for that. And if you are new to the channel, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notify bell so you guys never miss another video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite weapon is so far in the game and what your favorite map is so far. I would love to hear from you guys. That's going to wrap it up for this one, guys, and we will definitely see you in the next one. Take care, guys.